there, it's Candace, and welcome back to the 30,000 Foot View Podcast. This is the show for the entrepreneur who is out there hustling to be a part of that 1% club or the employee looking to climb the corporate ladder. This show will help you to look at the bigger picture so that you can plant seeds today and watch them bloom tomorrow. All right, guys, let's go be great. Hey guys, what's up? It's Candice and welcome back to another episode of the 30,000 Foot View podcast. I'm so glad to be here with you all today and I want to first apologize for last week because if you are a faithful subscriber, then I'm sure you saw that we did not have an episode upload last week. That is totally my bad, you guys. I was out of the country enjoying a little weekend getaway, and it didn't hit me until Thursday night last week. I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to schedule. Um, But no worries, we are back on track, you guys, and we are not going to miss a Friday, okay? Because right now, I know that you all are probably in your cars, you're already at work, or maybe you're still sitting in bed. But the good thing is that you're starting your morning off right with me, getting all of your daily inspiration and motivation right here, right now. And I cannot thank you all enough. So let's go ahead and jump into today's topic, you guys. And I know that this is something that we have all literally heard since we were kids. At least I know that I have. Um, It was always one of those things like when you were, you know, getting ready to go to church or you're getting ready to go to a function, like a family function, or if you were that one, you know, one kid, okay, and most of my my black sisters and brothers out here, y'all probably know what I'm talking about. Your mama or your grandmama or your auntie always told you, okay, don't go up in here and embarrass me, okay? You be seen, not heard, right? (laughs) So I know that was always something that I heard as a kid, okay? You want to be seen, not heard. And it wasn't until I got older in my adult age that I really realized the importance of that phrase, of being seen and not heard. And now I always think of it in the the real world and in my adult life, you know, as, you know, do you ever have people that you know, or just people that you come across in life, okay, that always, and I mean, always have to be the loudest person in the room, they have to be the flashiest person in the room, okay, if it's not designer, or fresh off the runway, or in a magazine, or all over social media as the hottest item, if they don't have it, then nobody has it, right? Or if they have it, you better believe it's going to be seen by somebody. Or do you always have that one person that's always trying to tell you how to do things, um, how to live your life or make you feel that, you know, the way that they did things and the way that they do things is the is the right way or the only way, right? They always want to be the one to tell you how to do things because they like to hear themselves talk, right? We all know those people in our personal lives. We all know those people in business and in our work lives. There's always going to be that person, right? So what we are going to talk about today is how you don't need to be that person, okay? And why it's it's not beneficial to anybody. It's not beneficial to you or the people that you're around. Because if anything, it drives people away from you because it's not cute. Okay, it's not funny. It's not cute. It's not attractive. Nobody wants to tolerate that because at the end of the day, it's negativity. Okay, that is is a negative environment that you do not have to surround yourself with. And and and, you know, it's we all will encounter it. It's just a matter of how you deal with it. Some people will put up with it. You know, me personally, I don't. (laughs) So you got to figure out where that happy balance is like and you know and if it's if it's avoidable you know what if it's your family what if it's someone in your family like you know if you're if you're a close tight-knit family you maybe can't escape it or maybe that person is like your boss at work or you know somebody on your team you know you just never know even though my motto is you've got options <laughs> you know you can either stay you can go you can change your surroundings um, or you can change yourself so That's what we're going to talk about today, you guys. And and I want to kind of tell you like where this kind of came from. Okay, Um, I recently had something super special to me happen in my life. Um, It was kind of like a monumental moment, kind of hit a goal that I'd been shooting for for several months. And as excited as I was and as important of a moment as it was in my life, 
I felt for a moment, and I say just a moment, because I refused to dwell on it longer than a moment. Even though I'm talking about it now, okay? But I'm talking about it now for like inspirational purposes, okay? Um, I chose not to dwell on it because I didn't want it to take away from the moment. I didn't want it to ruin my my mojo, my celebration, my, my milestone, my accomplishment. I didn't want it to diminish anything that I was doing. And more importantly, I did not want it to diminish the value of my team. I didn't want it to diminish everything that we had worked so hard for. But what I will say is when something special, something huge, something just groundbreaking happens in your life and someone immediately takes your win, your success, your moment and turns it into all about them. Y'all, I'm here to tell you that person's not for you. Now, I will say this has been a hard pill to swallow because it is something that has taken me so, so long to learn. Okay, my husband has been preaching this very thing to me for years and for years. I always kind of. Yeah, 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 babe. Yeah. Yeah, honey. I got it. Got it. Yeah. Mm Okay. 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 And I always just kind of pushed it to the back of my mind, right? Like, no, they're not like that. No, they wouldn't do that. No, you're looking too too, too much into it. You're so judgmental, okay? Y'all, I know he's listening, okay? he's He was 99.9% of the time he was right, okay? I'm going to give him that. <laughs> but I'm not going to give him 100%, not today. But when people make everything about themselves, you've got you've to recognize that. You have to because it's better to recognize it up front than it is to go years and years and years and enduring you know, someone stealing your thunder. And and here's the thing. Everything doesn't always have to be about you. But when you're somebody that has worked their tail off, you have had curveball after curveball thrown at you. You've had every odd stacked against you and you somehow persevered. You somehow still hit a goal. You knocked it out of the park. And for someone to not let you have your moment, it's so defeating. It's and it's sad that someone has to make things about them, you know. So, you know, this goes back to, you know, it's they can't let it be about you because it has to be about them. okay? Um, and nine times out of 10, it's because they've got some insecurities inside. They've got some some demons inside. They've got things working against them. They've got issues that have been going on for years and years and years and you know, at some point, you know, it's, it's come to a head and it's, it's, it's now how they live their lives. It it is what is ruling their day to day. And you've got to figure out how you are going to put an end to it and how you're not going to be the person that does something like that as well. Okay. So what I want to tell you is if you have someone that in your life, okay, they always tell you what to do. Okay unsolicited. Okay. And I mean, like you didn't ask for them to tell you what to do. Okay. You have someone that comes to you with a problem and they immediately make you feel like you are wee, itty, bitty, bitty, bitty. They make you feel so small. They make you feel less than they try to tell you how you should feel. Okay. You have someone that constantly wants to be the center of attention. Okay. And not center of attention because they truly just have that like personality that makes them be the life of the party because you can recognize somebody that is the life of the party because that is their personality like their personality just shines through or it's somebody that they try to be the center of attention they try to be the only one that's seen and heard you we're, we're all adults here we're smart enough to recognize that um so what I tell people is this okay The people that you work with, okay, if you're in a corporate setting, people that you work with, there's always that one person that has to be the smartest in the room, okay? And I'm here to tell you, I never, ever want to be the smartest in the room. I never want to be the only one contributing ideas. Never want to do that because then what what am I gaining from it? What am I learning from it? Nothing, nothing at all, okay? You have got to figure out how to foster relationships that you can encourage, you know, collaboration, 
Okay, you can you can encourage community. You want people to have a relationship with you where they're open and comfortable enough to contribute ideas in an open space. And you're not going to create that type of environment if you're the only one contributing and you're the only one controlling the narrative. You're the only one controlling the conversation. Not going to happen. So you have to figure out how you can change your environment and change your circle so that it better fits you and your goals and how you want to grow, how you want to learn. It That's just how it has to be. And when you are an entrepreneur, when you are a business owner, you have control over who you allow in your circle. You have control over what you tolerate, what you don't tolerate. You have control over what you allow. You control how people can approach you. You control how people can, can, can impact your life on a day-to-day basis. There are certain things that you just should not allow into your life as a business owner. There are certain things that you should not allow into your life as an employee. There are certain things that you should just not allow, tolerate, deal with, whatever you want to call it as a human being. And if people make you feel less than, you need to change your circle. If people make you feel less than, then to me, I go above and beyond to make sure that I'm not making others feel that way. I want to be a decent human being. I want to make sure my future kids are decent human beings, my nephews, my everybody in my family. That is, that is something you should strive for when you, and when that's just in you and that's how you are, and that then translates into your business, you have nowhere to go, but up success is the only option on the table. When you constantly want to control other people, you want to tell them what to do, how to do it, because that's how you did it then that's when you're not allowing people to express themselves. You're not allowing people to be themselves. There are more, there is more than one way to the top, more than one way to the top. And I tell, you know, in my personal business, I tell people that all the time, just because so-and-so made it to the top this way does not mean number one, it's the right way. And number two, it doesn't mean that's the only way. My employees at work, I tell them all the time, Okay, I know we've done it this way forever, but that doesn't mean we have to do continue to do it that way. Let's let's change it up. If a different way is more efficient, let's go for it. If there's a cheaper route, let's go for it. If there's a more expensive route, but yet it better serves our our needs as a as a company, let's explore it. Let's do it. Okay? If if we've currently op- we've always operated the last 10 years doing XYZ, okay? If, if, if there's a better way out there, hey, I'm all ears. Let's figure it out. Let's explore it. But you have to be open to putting yourself in a position to where you are comfortable enough to change your circle. You're comfortable enough to say, hey, mm, no, thank you. I got this. Or you're comfortable enough to just walk away. And I'm not saying you walk away from an opportunity, Or you walk away from a company or you walk away from a business or you walk away, you know, and and that is you changing who you are. What I'm saying is you have to be strong enough to say this person no longer serves me. I've got to be around people that are going to fill me up. I've got to be around people that are going to lift me up. I've got to be around people that are of sound and like mind. That's what you have to find for yourself every single day. Every because every day is different. Every day you're going to need something from somebody and it may be a little bit different. Every day is not the exact same. So how you how you structure your day, how you go about your day, you just every small thing in your day is completely different. No two days are alike. If they are, man, I feel sorry for you cuz I would go insane. <laughs> but you are made for more. I say that in the opening of every single episode, you are made for more and how you get to more is by what you do every day, what you allow every day, who you allow around you every day, what you tolerate every day. Okay. I want all of you who are listening. 
I want you to sit down and I want you to make a list, whether that is old school like me and you go pen to paper, or if you're super new age, you're super high tech, you're with all the times, right? And you want to maybe type it up on your computer or you want to put it in the note section of your phone. I don't care. Find a space for you to make a list. I want you to make a list of all of the goals that you have accomplished professionally. And I want you to also make a list of goals that you have yet to accomplish professionally, whether it's at work, whether it's in your business. Heck, let's just even go in your personal life, okay? Make a list of those things. Then I want you to make a list of the people that were with you on that journey when you hit that goal or who is with you now helping you to hit that goal. And then I want you to make a list of the people that told you that you couldn't. The people that were with you when you were doing it, and then all of a sudden you hit it, they were gone. Or they made it about them. Oop, my turn. Okay, you're done. My turn. Make a list of the people that diminished your accomplishment, that made you feel less than, that have probably already told you behind your back that, okay, yeah, I did that. It's not attainable. You know, oh, well, let's see what, what she does now. Let, let's see what happens. Okay. Now make that list and then figure out what needs to go. Because if the negativity is more than the positivity, that's a problem y'all. Okay, you've got to figure out what your breaking point is and when you are no longer going to tolerate something. And just because you work for a company and just because you run a business does not mean that you have to tolerate being being treated and feeling a certain way. You don't have to tolerate it. We all have options. It's funny because the other day I was in a meeting and I was asked, what is, a, what is one thing professionally that um, an old boss, a mentor, whomever has said to you that has stuck with you throughout your career? And it was a no brainer. Like, I don't even think I thought about it. Like, I was like, oh, got it. And they were like, oh, are you ready? I'm like, yeah, I'll be happy to share. <laughs> because you all, this is it, this has stuck with me so for so long now, almost 10 years, that I even went to a point, like, I got stationery made with this quote on it. I got t-shirts made with the quote on it. Like, the whole nine, okay? That's how important this phrase is to my life. And it's how important it should be to you. I look at it, I see it, I breathe it every single day. And I tell people this all the time. They think I'm being a smart ass, but I'm truly being as real as it comes. Because when you, when you think about it, it hits home and it makes you really think and reevaluate a lot of things. My boss at my previous company, so at this point we're 10 years removed, at my previous company, we were talking about something and I kind of looked at her because we were going over goals and I kind of looked at her and I was like, uh, I don't, I'm not sure. Like, I know what you're talking about. I'm not sure. I know how to do that. I've never done that before. And she kind of looked at me. She said, okay, your point. And I said, well, I don't, I'm not comfortable making this a goal if it's not something that I've ever done before or, you know, whatever. And she said, okay, well, Candace, you've got options. And I'm like, what do you mean I have options? She said, you have options. You have the option to like it. You have the option to hate it. You have the option to figure it out or you have the option to fail. What are you going to do? You have options. It's up to you. And I just kind of sat there and I'm like, okay, she being a smart ass. (laughs) But then the more I kept thinking about it, I'm like, no, like she's putting the ball in my court. Am I going to rise to the occasion or am I going to sink to the bottom? Am I going to fail miserably? What am I going to do? Am I going to tolerate somebody telling me I can can do something or am I, am I not? Am am I going to allow somebody to just completely dictate my future and I not have any input? Okay, I've got options. Like, just like if I'm at work, I don't like something. Okay. It's like people are always like, well, I can't do anything about it. Like, I need my job. No, you absolutely can do something about it. There are plenty of other jobs out there. If there's not a job that, you know, you can find out there that you like working for somebody else, guess what? Go start it. 
you have the option to go create it on your own. You don't like how somebody's leading you? Okay, change it. Figure out what you need to do so that you're the one leading, okay? If someone in your organization is being so negative and they're telling you the right way to do things, don't be quiet and just take it. Tell them, no, 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 no. I'm a person. I got my own brain. I got my own way that I want to run my business. Listen to me. Listen to my side of things. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. It's, it's, it's really that simple. You have options. And so I always, always go back to that because it truly is something that should be a part of your day to day. When you're met with adversity, you're met with negativity, you're met with someone who does something, says something that you don't like or agree with, you don't have to sit there and take it. You just simply ask yourself, what are my options? Am I going to sit here and listen to this person blab on and about how much money they have or how many friends they have or about this designer, this or whatever? Or am I going to sit here and listen to them talk about how miserable their life is and how, you know, they don't have this and that? No, if that's if that's messing up my mentality, if that's messing up my day, my mojo, guess what? I have the option to say, girl, shut up or boy, bye. I have the option to just simply politely get up and walk away. It's very simple. And if I do that, we don't have to talk about it. If I do that, we don't have to talk about it. And especially if you're my friend or you're in my corner, you're my teammate, me walking away should be all you need to know. Me walking away is all that you need to know. Me not reaching out to you is all you need to know. I'm not going to wait for, to ask you, well, are you going to be quiet now? No, 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 no. If I walk away, the whole narrative has now changed. You know what my breaking point is. And if we're going to do this, you understand where I am. You got to meet me halfway. Okay. This is all about creating boundaries for your friendships, creating boundaries for your relationships in and out of work, creating boundaries for how you want to move forward in life. We all have an option. We all have a choice. Are you going to be the loudest person in the room and people are looking at you sideways because you sound silly, you're doing something silly, or you are you? It's clear that you're, you're, you just want to hear yourself talk or are you going to be seen, not heard? Are you going to be moving in silence? Are, are you sharing, oversharing what you're going for in life? And then when it happens, there's nobody around because it's like, eh, yeah, we knew she's been talking about it for years. Okay. No, let me, let me show you what I want to do. Okay. I don't have to tell you, but you watch me work. You watch me work. I don't need you to do it. You can pump me up. You can pat me on the back. You can motivate me. Tell me, girl, yeah, you got it. Sir, you got it. You don't have to do it for me. I'll do it on my own. But you guys, I want you to really think about it. Think about it. Are you that person that constantly has to be the loudest and flashiest in the room? Or do you have somebody that you've been around for years and that's their role? And then they don't have to be. Is that their role? How are you now going to change it for them? How are you going to deal with it moving forward? How are you going to be that person that, that brings them back down to earth, that grounds them? That says, hey, let's make some changes together. Let's make some moves together. I don't want you looking crazy. <laughs> what kind of person are you going to be? So you guys, again, I think that you know, life has a funny way of placing people in your life. People come and go. People are, you know, all around you saying different things, doing different things, moving differently. You have the choice to control how those movements affect you. You have complete control over that. Okay. Now, I want you all to really take that little exercise that I said about writing down, um, you know, your goals that you've accomplished, the goals that you're working towards now, the people that were there to support you, and then the people that tried to steal your thunder. I want you to make a list of that because, again, I think it puts in perspective what you're up against. 
what you maybe need to move out of your life because it no longer serves you. It's okay. But guys, I'm telling you, make your moves in silence. Make them in silence and be like, boom, I hit it. (laughs) Boom, I did it. Got that promotion. Got that rank up. Got that money. Got that new car. Oh, oh, by the way. Oh, yeah. We just closed in our house last week. Yeah, we did that. (laughs) Oh, gosh, y'all. I'm being silly now. Okay, I really didn't close on a new house. Like, we are in our forever house until it's time to, you know, move into like a patio home or something. But I'm just just using that as an example. Okay, y'all understand what I'm saying. But that is all I have for you guys today. And I know it was a super random topic, but I feel like I see it all the time. Even if I'm just online, I feel like I see it in other people's relationships all the time. There's always that one person that has to be the center of attention and nobody says anything. I don't know why. I don't know why people tolerate it, but whatever. That is all I have for you guys today. Um, Again, I just wanted you guys to just think a little deeper, put a little different perspective just on life and what you're dealing with and going through on a day-to-day basis, um, both at work and your personal lives. Think about it. Think about it. You can completely change the narrative. Okay. All right, you guys, don't forget if you are not already subscribed to this podcast, you can find me on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Our Heart Radio, Google Podcasts. I'm everywhere. Google me. <laughs> also, don't forget to go follow us over on Instagram at 30,000 Foot View Podcast. And if you're listening, be sure to um, take a screenshot and put it up on your stories and tag me. I would love to to see it. I want to see who's listening and I want to reshare. Okay. And don't forget to check back next Friday because we will be here same time, same place. Y'all know 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a new episode will be loaded with the exception of last week. My bad, (laughs) y'all. But we're going to do better, okay? All right, guys. I hope you all have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Stay safe, and I will see you all next week. Bye. 